Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just showered after my workout. I'm on week seven of Sweat It to Shred It. I'm so close to being done and I'm so proud of myself. Right now I'm about to do some laundry and this is gonna sound so lame, but I'm actually really excited to do laundry because yesterday we got a brand new washer dryer our old one was just not working. We, I had to put clothes through it like three or four times before they would actually dry and it was also leaving like singe marks and holes in a bunch of our clothes. Like, let me show you. I think this tank top has some marks on it. Yeah, so like, all of these brown marks it was just destroying our clothes and we had to throw a lot of things out so we complained and we were able to get a new one put in so i'm just glad we have one that's actually gonna work and like i said it's kind of lame but i'm really excited about it and i think after i throw in the laundry i might work on our grocery list. Scott's gonna go grocery shopping today and I feel like recently I personally, I don't know about Scott, but I feel like I've been eating pretty poorly, just a lot of treats and it was my birthday last weekend so it makes sense that I was having some treats but I feel like I just need to eat a little cleaner after having a week full of desserts and candy and those kind of things. I just need to get some more fruits and veggies. That's just what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna work on making a grocery list and just figuring out recipes to make this week that are a little healthier and incorporate more fresh ingredients. So that's the plan. This is so much bigger than I how beautiful it is. The grocery list has been made and now I think I'm going to have lunch or a snack or something and then I'm going to take apart the hutch that we have right now. Um, I would show it to you but Scott's playing Xbox with his cousin so I don't want to interrupt them or make him stop talking so I can show you. Uh, you'll see it but we ordered i've told this story in previous vlogs but we ordered a desk and a hutch to go on top of the desk hutch showed up desk didn't so la the end of this past week i think like two days ago i called and told them that we were sending the hutch back and we were just going to order a different one from somewhere else which update on that our new desk and hutch is now coming on tuesday in three days which is just amazing after all of this waiting we are finally getting our desk i'm just so happy although now we're having troubles with our dining table but that's besides the point so i have to take that apart so that we can return it and don't know how long that's going to take but I, that's pretty much my project for the day is just getting that apart because i'm just so ready to send it back <laughs> My world, I don't 
don't worry, darling. I'll just smile, 'cause you're by my side. And now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine, and I see it in yours too. So now I sing to you, and when you go. Leave me here all alone. I'll be waiting. We can make it because I know that after all this time, you'll read between these lines. Feeling fine, 'cause you said this is all you want. No more playing, playing, playing on all this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I call you mine. I know you feel the same. I do. No more playing, wishing, waiting. I was taking, 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 baby. Okay, finally got the hutch all taken apart. It was a lot more difficult than I had anticipated, but I was able to do it. So that's good. My hair is looking a little poofy and frizzy right now, but that's okay. So I have a couple of new bikinis that I actually got a couple days ago, but I was so sunburnt from my birthday weekend that I couldn't try them on or anything, and my shoulders are much better, but they're peeling and they look gross, so I'm not going to show that too much but now that the burning part of the sunburn is done i figured why not try on these suits so i got two from zawful and i'm very excited about them i'm pretty sure i got them in two different sizes yeah it's really hard for me to know what size bathing suit to get because i'm like right in between i think a a medium and a large most of the time but like usually for bottoms I'm a medium but for tops I I'm a medium or a large so I never really know which one to get so I'm gonna go ahead and try these on all right so here's the first bikini this little black one one shoulder I actually really like this. I wasn't sure how I would feel about the one shoulder top, especially since there's no like ties or anything you can adjust, but it fits super well and I really like it. It's really comfortable too. So I'm very pleasantly surprised with this one and fingers crossed I like the other one as much as I like this one. <laughs> okay, and here is bikini number two. The bottoms have ties on them, the top has a tie, and then the straps are also adjustable, so that's really nice. This is the set that I got in a large, and I was very confident doing that because of all the adjustability to it, and I'm glad that I did. So, yeah, overall, I really like both of these bikinis, so very happy with that. I think this is only the second time that I've ordered swimsuits from Zoffel, and both times I've been really pleased with the results, so I'm definitely a fan. Today it's like perfect outside, it's 90 degrees, super sunny, would have been perfect to go to the pool in one of my new bikinis and get some use out of them, but unfortunately the pool at our apartment complex isn't opened yet. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to get it open soon, but with COVID and everything they just want to make sure they can figure out how to keep everyone safe and all of that fun stuff. So no pool for me today. Scott and I decided after after we get, went to Cape Cod last weekend for our, my birthday, we decided that every weekend we're going to try to go out and do something, whether it's go to a beer garden, go on a hike, do something like that. But this weekend it's so hot that we decided we don't want to make ourselves miserable. We don't want to take Murphy out somewhere and have him dying of the heat. So we're just going to stay in and instead Scott's just going to go out and get us some beer so we can do our own kind of beer garden <laughs> from the apartment. Have Maybe play some games, maybe do something, but yeah, we're going to make some burgers. It, it'll be great. 
All right, it is much later. We had dinner. We decided not to have burgers tonight. By the time Scott got home from the grocery store, our ground beef was still frozen and we were both just so hungry that we wanted something quicker. So we're gonna save that for tomorrow. I ended up just having a turkey salad and a smoothie instead. I was able to keep it healthy even though I was starving. I always find it the most challenging to pick healthy options when I'm really, really hungry because I just want something quick and usually quick things aren't the best for you. So yeah, but I feel really good after having a nice light dinner and yeah, that's where I'm going to end off this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'm posting new videos every three days. I was doing every other day for a while there, but that got to be a little bit much. So now I'm dialing back just a little bit to every three days there will be a new video. And then if there's any extras here and there, then so be it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.